So I'm gonna launch RGB Fusion and listen to the noise that the hard drive makes. So here we go. Yeah, that noise. It's almost like RGB Fusion is shutting the hard drive down and now if I try and access the hard drive, this is the G drive, I won't be able to access it. So there we go, see it's hung up. Yeah, now it's back to normal. So yeah, it's kind of like RGB Fusion is taking over the hard drives and shutting them down and they have to spin back up to get back to their normal state. And the same can be heard from the internal hard drives of the computer. Plus, I have also noticed that RGB Fusion takes control of the RGB lights on the RAM. So in this video, I'm going to show you two things. How to fix this hard drive spinning down whenever you launch RGB Fusion. And in addition to that, I will also show you how to prevent RGB Fusion from taking over the RGB control of your RAM. So I would just like to use the G-Skill RGB control software to control the RGB and not RGB Fusion. By the way, I'm using RGB Fusion because the Aorus Master RTX 3070 has a display and to control the display and the RGB lights on this graphics card, you need the RGB Fusion software. So yeah, this software is kind of a necessity. Uh, by the way, I have done a review of this card. If you want to watch that, the link is over here. Anyway, let me show you how to fix this problem. Alright guys, the first thing you'll need to do is quit RGB Fusion. So open up the task manager and just quit RGB Fusion by ending the task. Next, open up your this PC and go to C drive. Then go to program files x86 then locate gigabyte folder and locate RGB Fusion and open this up. Here we want to delete two files. The first one is fizon.dll. So this is the one that causes issues with the hard drive. So we're just going to delete this. And the next two files we're going to delete is spddump.xml and spddump.exe. So after you delete these two, that will prevent RGB Fusion from taking over the RGB control of your RAM. And lastly, open up the control panel and go to programs and features. In case you don't have a Patriot Viper M.2 SSD, uninstall this software. So this is a bloatware installed by RGB Fusion and we will just uninstall this because it's not needed. And even after this, RGB Fusion will work properly without any issues. So that's it. Now you have to restart your computer. I'm gonna do that and we'll be right back. So check this out, after deleting those three files, I'm gonna launch RGB Fusion and the hard drive will not spin down and also RGB Fusion will not take control of the RAM. So yeah, here we go. And it should work normally. So there you go, the hard drive did not make that funny sound and the RAM RGB is working as it should be. And also doing this does not affect the RGB Fusion's functionality, so it can still change the RGB on the graphics card. So RGB Fusion is working fine, but it does not interfere with the hard drives, nor it interferes with the RAM RGB. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up on the video. It does help a lot. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.